WPBF 25 News investigation. We're learning more tonight about why a Jupiter Animal Shelter fired its longtime director and reported her to police. We were first to report the arrest of Kaylin at Roca's daughter yesterday on charges of stealing from Safe Harbor. Well, tonight, the former president of the board speaks exclusively for the first time to our Terry Parker about what started this ongoing investigation. Last April, former Safe Harbor director Kayla Netroca called a news conference to say her firing was unjust and there was no criminal evidence against her of any wrongdoing. Now, after a two year investigation, her youngest daughter, Jordan Roca, has been arrested on charges of stealing almost $30,000 from the animal shelter using her mother's Safe Harbor debit card. For the first time, the former board president is speaking publicly about why they went to police. We were looked at as an evil board because we took this woman away from this wonderful thing that she was doing, where in reality we knew what was going on and we were tied legally that we could not say what was going on because it was an ongoing investigation. Diana Nelson says she and the other new board members at first thought everything was fine, but then started getting served with lawsuits. So she says they began asking Roca questions. She was terminated because she totally misrepresented herself to the board. She did practices that were against the board rules, and we just felt it was very, very important. It was only after they fired Roca and got access to bank records that Nelson says they discovered the millions in donations that Roca always claimed she'd raised weren't there. That there was like two to three million dollars in the bank. We never got a bank statement, though. We never got uh, actual accounting of how much was there. When the board finally took over the accounts, we only had like maybe 200,000. And where did this, you know, three to four million dollars go to? Jupiter police say Jordan Roca was caught on surveillance video using the Safe Harbor ATM card, getting cash back from stores 261 times in a three month period, totaling almost $30,000. As for the millions, the investigation continues into whether they ever even existed or if they are missing. Nelson says Jordan's arrest has finally freed them to answer Roca's allegations that the board plotted against her. I can't understand why people would think we would go out and deliberately ruin a person. That's not the, what we do. We went out to save an organization. I contacted Kayla Net Roca's attorney. He said he would ask her if he could be authorized to make a statement on her behalf, but we haven't heard back yet. As far as that IRS investigation into financial irregularities, they're not allowed to publicly comment on an open case, but a witness in the case tells me they've been told that the case is still under investigation. Terry Parker, WPBF 25 News.